What's up guys? Welcome to the next video on my channel. In today's video, I will be covering wireless communication between ESP boards using the ESP Now protocol. This is a small project related to LVGL and using ESP Now. As for the interface, I designed it on Squareline Studio. I have made quite a few tutorial videos before, and this project is a practical application through those previous tutorials. First, let me talk about the devices in the video. The first one is a CYD central control screen. The second device is an ESP room board, to which I have attached a temperature and humidity sensor, as well as four relays. On the CYD board, I designed five switches to control the on-off state of the relays. Below that, there is a section displaying the board ID. Currently, no board is connected, so it shows not found. For example, in this video, I assign an ID to this ESP board. After this board is connected, the ID will be displayed here. Next to it is the icon indicating the connected status. The last icon is a button to display the graph for temperature and humidity values. I have made a detailed tutorial video before, which you can watch on my channel. Okay, now I will power up the ESP32 board to test its operation for you. As you can see, after powering it up, the board ID section on the CYD screen shows 1. This is because I assign the value 1 to the board, so the CYD displays 1. The status indicator icon has lit up, indicating that the device is now controllable. I tested the main switch and as you can see, all the relays are functioning. I also tried toggling each switch individually and everything is still working perfectly. I will switch to the temperature and humidity display screen. As you can see, the temperature and humidity values have been returned. The graph is running and the values are continuously updated in real time. Okay, this is the end of the demo video. Next, I will move on to the source code and give a brief overview so you can understand how the program works. Next, let's briefly talk about the source code and interface design. Starting with the interface, I designed the drag and drop interface using Squareline Studio. Here, I created two screens. The first one contains switches, buttons, icons, and a few labels to display the status. The second screen includes graphs to read temperature and humidity values. I have already made detailed series of instructions for each small part. You can click on my channel, select the playlist to watch detailed tutorial videos. All right, now let's get back to the source code. As you can see, I have pushed it to GitHub and there are three main folders. First, to allow the two devices to communicate with each other, we need to obtain the MAC address of each device. Click on the Get MAC Address folder, copy the code, upload it to the ESP, open the monitor, and save the MAC addresses in a notepad to use in the main code. Okay, now let's get back to the main code. First, let's talk about the CYD screen. Here, I split it into two main files, main.cpp to handle tasks related to LVGL, and espconfig.cpp to handle tasks related to ESP now. Here you need to declare the MAC address of the receiving device. The receiving device here is the ESP board connected to the relay and sensor, as demonstrated at the beginning of the video. Next, we need to declare the channel of the transmitting and receiving devices. It's important to note that both the transmitting and receiving devices must operate on the same channel. Here I chose channel 6. To transmit data blocks through ESP now, we need to create structs to hold that data. In this example, the data includes the status of switches and sensors. Important note, the struct blocks of the transmitting and receiving devices must be identical. Otherwise, the data will not be transmitted. Okay, let's move on to the next ESP32 board. On this board, you need to declare the number of relays you are using. Here, I am using four relays, so I declare it as four. Next, declare the GPIO for the relays. I use GPIO 5, 22, 21, 19. You can change them according to your needs. Here, you can change the board ID. If you have multiple boards, you can add other IDs such as 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, you need to declare the MAC address for the device that receives the temperature and humidity values. 
The receiving device here is the CYD display screen. Here, you declare the GPIO for the DHT sensor and choose the type of sensor. In this case, I am using the DHT22. Next, I declare the channel for the device. As I mentioned earlier, two devices must share the same channel if they want to communicate with each other. In this case, I select channel 6. As I mentioned earlier, to transmit and receive data via ESPNOW, you need to use structs, and the structs between the transmitting and receiving devices must be the same. As you can see in the video, I declare structs for both devices that are completely identical. That concludes my overview of the source code. You can visit my GitHub page to download and refer to it. I've noted the important details in the source code. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you found the information useful, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel to get updates on upcoming videos. Wishing you success. See you in the next video.